there's an Advent devotional that Amy and I have been making it a habit to read for a number of years now. And uh, one of the things that I, that I really appreciate about it, appreciate about it is, is that it is a collection of a, of a variety of different authors. Now, the entry uh, for November 27th was written by Friedrich Wilhelm Forster, a, a German academic well known for speaking out against the Nazis as they rose to power. And he writes, um, writes the passage about events that are happening in his lifetime in post-war Germany. He says, this latest news is basically age old and constantly repeated, the cold or hot war of everyone against everyone else. Its simple cause lies in the fact that humanity, with its intellectual gifts, squanders its superiority of mind, its intelligence and passion on animal disputes and purposes. It's that first sentence that really gets me, though. This latest news is basically age-old and constantly repeated. The cold or hot war of everyone against everyone else. You know, I think we do tend to think that our time is, is different somehow, but, but the stories are the same with, with just an update to the cast of characters and the list of grievances. We, we are in a world still waiting to be redeemed. This Sunday, our scripture comes from the Gospel of Mark, and in it, it is the first eight verses. And if you look at the text, the writer opens with the statement, the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. There are a number of biblical scholars that agree that this opening verse was actually intended uh, to be the title of the book by the Gospel writer. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. That title, I think, begs the question, if, if this is the beginning, then, then where does it end? Not at the end of the book. The, the book is itself the beginning of the good news. And the inference, I think, that, that we can make from that is that we are the continuation of that story that has yet to come to completion. And it isn't ex isn't that exactly what we experience in Advent? We contemplate the truth that one day God will bring this full circle, that God will bring this all to completion, redeeming creation, and at last, bringing an end to war and conflict and making it all good news once and for all. Friends, I want to unpack this further together this coming Sunday, and I hope that you will join us either on the live stream or in person at either 9.30 or 11 o'clock. Until then, have a great rest of your week, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.